welcome to MSD Learning World. Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to see a convex hull problem which can be solved by brute force method. So what is mean by convex hull? When a polygon is said to be convex. A polygon P is said to be a convex. When the polygon is non-intersecting. And when we take any two points inside the plane S. Any two points like P and Q. When we draw a line. That line completely exists inside the polygon. If the line is coming outside the polygon. Then the polygon is said to be non-convex. So now let us see how to create a convex hull polygon. Such a way that all the points given in a space. It exists inside the polygon. This can be done by a brute force approach. What is mean by convexity? So when we consider a plane, yes, where it consists of a sequence of uh, many number of points which are scattered. And when we create a polygon for that uh, point set of all points in the space. So when we take any subset of plane from that polygon, any two lines or any two points when we create a line between the two points, the line segment that connects the two points must be completely present inside the plane. If the line is coming out of, outside of the polygon, then it is said to be non-convexity. What is a convex hull problem? So given a plane P and a set of points in the plane, now we need to find the convex hull for the set of all points in the plane. So we need to create a polygon in such a way that the polygon must make all the other points should be completely inside the polygon and the any two points if we make a line the line must completely exist inside the polygon then only the polygon that we create will be a convex hull polygon so now the output of this convex hull problem is we have to list out all the points in a clockwise order that forms a polygon for that plane now for the given example, the polygon that we have created will be P2, P4, P10, P8 and P7. So this I have told as a clockwise order. And this is not compulsory that we have to start only from P2. Even we can tell the expected output as P4, P10, P8, P7, P2. So that you have to create a polygon where all the points are existing inside the polygon and any line that you make it within two points must be exist completely inside the polygon. This is what is the convex hull problem. Let us see how this convex hull is created by brute force approach. The brute force solution for the convex hull problem is that suppose you have a plane S yes, with the n number of points. So now you have to create a polygon and you have to tell the vertices the points of that polygon which forms, uh, forms a polygon shape where all the points are existing inside the polygon. So the brute force approach is that you have n number of points from 1 to n minus 1 or 0 to n minus 1 or 1 to n. So now what the brute force approach is, brute force approach always makes all the combinations and permutations of the uh, n number of points. So here it takes the first point and it draws the line for with all the remaining n minus 1 number of points. Such a way that all the lines will be existing in the same direction. Suppose if you take a point 1, then when you take a point 1 from 1, you will be drawing the lines to all the other points. So if the lines are all existing in the same direction to all the n minus 1 points, then it, then it means that one point will be forming, a, uh, for, forming one side of the polygon point. If any of the line is uh, coming on the other direction, it means that this point is not going to be one of the point that forms the polygon. Likewise, you are going to test for the second point now. From the second point to all the other n minus 1 points, you are going to draw the line. Then you are going to check whether all these lines form the same direction. So likewise, for all the n number of points, you are going to draw the lines. And you are going to check whether all the lines forms the same direction and at last those lines which are intersected to each other are now connected, connected to form a polygon. This is what is the brute force approach. At last those uh, points alone will be making in such a way that all the other points will be completely inside the plane. So now let us see the algorithm. So here the algorithm is that 
Now when you have a set of points 1, 2, 3 and 4, assume that you have given with 4 number of points. So how many number of points that you need to connect to each other? So for that you will make capital P into Cartesian product capital P that is P Cartesian product capital P is nothing but 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 Cartesian product 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so that you will get the pairs like 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 likewise 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 3 comma 4 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 4 comma 4 these are all the possible pairs where you can form the polygon so here the algorithm is that initially you take the edges as empty set. Then for all the ordered pairs P, Q where P not equal to Q. You should not take the pairs like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 pairs are not considered. Other than that the non-equal points are considered to draw the line. So now you take 1, 2. You will first make the edges for that points. Then after making the point you check that by making the point 1, 2 as edge you are going to try to make for uh, line for all the other points such a way that it is not completely coming outside 1, 2. So for all the points R in P only that only for that plane for the four number of points where R should not uh, should not be equal to P as well as it should not be equal to Q also because for P comma Q already a line is drawn. So you are taking the remaining points other than P comma Q to form a line to check whether that uh, uh, the point R making a line with the other points does not comes outside the boundary. If so you are not creating the edge for that. Suppose if the edge is completely existing inside the plane then it means that the P comma Q edge is true to make a polygon which may be a convex skull. So repeatedly for all the ordered pairs the points R is checked to form a line such a way that everything is lying inside the polygon. So if that edges are true then that edges are uh, uh, that is concordinated with capital P at last all the edge pairs that is existing in capital E is uh, uh, listed out to form the vertices of the polygon. The time complexity of the brute force algorithm is that it is order of n cube that is the outer uh, loop will be taking for each n number of points. So the outer loop is going to be executed for n number of times for each point it is going to draw the line that uh, each for each subset for the point number 1 it is going to draw the line for from 1 to n number n minus 1 number of points that is going to be the inner for loop where for the first point taken it is going to draw all the n minus 1 points uh, from 1 to all n, n minus 1 points a line is going to be drawn from the second for loop and from the for the inner for loop it is going to check whether the lines, uh, whether uh, these lines are going to be formed inside the polygon or not. So totally order of n square is for drawing, taking each points and to draw a line and at last order of n points is to make a complexity test to check whether the line exists inside the polygon. So put together uh, time complexity of the convex hull is order of n cube. In this video we have seen convex hull problem and how to solve the convex hull problem and how to create the polygon such a way that all the points exist inside the polygon and the algorithm for the convex hull and how the complexity of the convex hull is order of n cube. So do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.